All right. All right, I wanted to do a, a quick video review of this Honeywell HW2000i. It's an inverter generator. Um, I picked this up a couple years ago at Costco. It was about $450. So I've been wanting to do a, a natural gas conversion on this, a tri-fuel conversion. And there really isn't a kit out there. Um, I've got some pictures of the inside. Uh, there's normally, you know, with the kits, you have to install an adapter between the carburetor and the air cleaner. And there's just not room on this. It's pretty compact inside. So I went ahead and, and did a conversion. Um, I'll probably make a separate video. I've got some pictures of that. But basically what's involved is uh, drilling the carburetor for a little induction tube um, and adding basically this KN demand regulator. This basically acts as the kind of like the float and the needle of a carburetor. Uh, it, the, you got the this going through the venturi on the carburetor. Pulls a little bit of a vacuum here. There's a diaphragm inside of here and that vacuum you get a vacuum on the, f the front side of this diaphragm, atmospheric pressure through these, there's a couple little holes here, um, basically causes the diaphragm to shift over. There's a little, kind of a little uh, a pinned um, valve in here that's going to open and let gas in. Um, so it kind of serves two purposes. It's a safety feature. So once the engine shuts off, the gas shuts off. And um, it also acts as a, a little bit of a, a regulator um, for for fuel. Now, uh, typically you'll have a, you know, you have some type of a, a valve, a load block. This takes pretty. It's not a lot of fuel. In fact, I, you want to be careful if you do drill out a carburetor, that you uh, make sure that the the tube you put in is is large enough. Um, propane, natural gas. It's pretty low pressure. It's a breath of pressure. So. You got to make sure that you're sized appropriately. Um, this is a 125 cc engine, so the uh, the tube I put in um, w was worked out just about right for that. I can get full load. Um, I get uh, 2,000 watts. I I tested the other day on on natural gas with my uh, I got a little kilowatt meter. Um, it, it pulls full load. Um, so anyway, uh, just a kind of a quick uh, just a run over of this thing. I did add a, a tachometer here to help, you know, monitor RPMs, and it also has an hour meter for servicing. Um, I just have a little cap here. This is just a flare fitting, this is just to keep that when I'm not using natural gas. Uh, you know, this has got it's got an efficiency mode where it'll it'll uh, throttle down depending on load. With the inverter generator, it doesn't have to be at 3,600 RPMs like a typical generator. It can can uh, run at various RPMs. Um, it's got a few indicator lights here, low oil, overload, um, and just to kind of a little run around here. Uh, this is the choke, um, and then this is the fuel valve. So kind of nice when you know you're switching from nat from natural gas or propane over to regular gas. Um, it's you know it's just got this here, um, you know fuel shutoff valve. And that's pretty much pretty much it. This thing isn't too heavy. Uh, it is it is a little noisier than a Honda. I looked at the Hondas and the Yamahas, and um, I ended up going with this just because it was about half the price. And overall, I've I've been pretty happy with it. Um, it I've you know being tearing it tearing it apart. <laughs> it's it is you know the typical Chinese made uh, kind of a knockoff, but I I feel that it's. It's fair quality, um, you know, for the price. I, th I think you, it's it's a it's a pretty good value. So anyway, um, I probably will make another video that maybe demonstrates the the uh, conversion a little bit more. And maybe if any of you want to see that, but I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. All right. So what I got um, here is just an outlet. When I was doing uh, natural gas for a pool heater, running it out out of the house here, I added this. Uh, this little quick disconnect. You know, you can run a propane barbecue, a patio heater, or, or a, a generator. Um, so I added this in. I've got this hose. Um, it's got a quick disconnect fitting, so I can come out, um, hook up the one end to the quick disconnect. The other end's a flare. Uh, this is going to hook into the generator. Now, you want to kind of purge this a little bit, so uh, just to get the air out of the line, you can do that. You know, either what I like to do 
is just I'll hook it all up and then um, I'll turn the gas on. I'll just loosen this fitting up a little bit, just enough to kind of purge that the air out of there. And that'll get, at least you have gas up to your regulator. Otherwise, you, you may have a little bit harder time starting it, getting the air um, through this bigger line. One thing I wanted to mention, one thing I wanted to mention um, is these things are notoriously hard to start. So here's a here's a there's a back panel that comes off pretty easy. Here's the air cleaner um, carburetor, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see my induction tube going into the carburetor over there. It's that it's that yellow. That's a Tigon fuel line. So um, it, it's it is rated for fuel. Uh, but anyway, the the thing I found is starting fluid. Um, you'll fight starting this thing even on gas. Natural gas, it's still a little tricky to start. So what I do is I just, uh, um, right here on this, this is the, the little impulse vacuum tube that goes over to the, the little diaphragm fuel pump. Um, it just goes right here into the intake. And what I do, I, I just pull this off and, and then sh I got a starting fluid here. Um, see if I can get that in the picture, but uh, okay, I'm gonna one shot just like that. That's all it takes to start it. Okay, it's uh, running now. Um, see, it's, this is even with the economy mode on, so there's no load. Um, it's idled down to around 3,100 RPMs. This thing runs. off.